biggest hospitals in Boston is running low on rapid coronavirus test kits, and that's now forcing the staff to ration their supply. WBZ chief investigator Cheryl Fiandaka spoke with two nurses who worry a shortage of tests could lead to a shortage of PPE. Cepheid's expert express test for the virus that causes COVID-19. In about 45 minutes, healthcare workers will be able to get results. This critical test for COVID-19 used when admitting patients is in short supply at Brigham and Women's Hospital. It's huge. We need the ability to know who is COVID, who is not. Administrators sounding the alarm in this memo to staff claiming the test supply is tenuous and that the hospital nearly exhausted its supply on several occasions. Going on to say, we do not anticipate our supply will improve in the near future. I think it's really concerning for people who especially work in the emergency room or work in a trauma unit like I do in the ORs because it just changes how we give care if we don't know if they're COVID. Nurses say without the test results, they have to use precious PPE, gearing up with N95 masks, face shields, and gowns to treat incoming patients. And if we're going to go back and treat everybody as if they're positive, then we're eventually going to run out of um, PPE. For patients who do turn out to be positive for COVID, nurses say not getting rapid test results could delay treatment. We know a patient is definitely COVID, we can get those therapeutics into the patient earlier and hopefully mm -hmm. the patient will not get as, as sick or even die. The hospital is telling staff to ration the rapid tests and only use them when they have to, suggesting using another COVID test which gives results in four to six hours. The Brigham says the shortage is due to limited production and allocation of resources and is predicting a surge of COVID patients in the coming weeks. Do you believe that you're prepared? No, I don't fully believe we're prepared. I think the hospitals have a plan in place, but it hasn't gone as far as they need it to go. The hospital tells us this is a nationwide shortage, but it is not causing any delays in emergencies, nor is it causing any safety issues for patients or staff. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Well,